How are you guys doing today? Have a bunch of stuff to show you. I'm gonna make it a quick video. It's uh, I don't know, maybe about 25 degrees out here, but uh, I think it's worth it for the lighting. First of all, in my pocket today is the Gray Mandua in that purple bronze nuke. I don't think I got this out in natural uh, lighting for you guys, so you can see what that's all about. Great knife. Let's picture that blade finish. So that's in my pocket today, along with my Tom's Choice Sheep's Foot Barlow. Kind of wanted to show off some patina. I do have uh, more videos coming for you guys on traditional knives. I just kind of found the handful that I love, and now I'm just kind of enjoying uh, carrying them, using them, and creating that patina on them. You know which is kind of what my goal was, to find some good ones that I really like and then carry them and use them and let them age and patina. So, anyways, I'll show you what uh, slip joints made the cut in another video. So that's my pairing for today. I don't think I have enough room. There's so much to show you. I don't think I have enough room here. All right, let's get in with some cool Sebenzas. This, this was a task that I was like, oh my gosh, are you sure? But uh, anyways, this gentleman here is moving to Chicago, and he wanted them Chicago legal. So I believe it's a 2.5 inch, and he's legal. These are small Sebenzas, stubby, you can see, so we shorten them up. And then I put the uh, swedge up there. Hopefully you can see them. Let me show you the swedge. Show you the diamond. I think it looks incredible. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but understand it's legal for him to carry now without worry. I don't want to flick his knife, but shorty, small sabenza are stubby. Awesome. So we also did his uh, micarta. Hopefully you can see that swedge there. And the camera just froze, but I know from experience that that will still post. You guys will just see it freezing. It's all right. What do you think? Stubby, small Sebenza. They seem to be going over pretty well on Instagram. Again, if you're not following me on Instagram, it is Johnson Knives on Instagram. So I just kind of show it off before the video goes up. So you're not really missing much if you're not following me over there, but uh, they do usually get the first look at knives, at the knives that, when they get done. All right, uh, another one. Got a jade scale for my small, <laughs> small XM18. Uh, thanks to a good buddy who sent in a bunch of work before. And we have a few more knives here for him to work on but I want to show that off I love this green next to that jade that is a great combination right there anyways I dig it it does flip good my hands are just cold I'm telling you it is freezing out here so just for fun here's what I have on hand a flipper delete for, I believe, a Brett McCormick on Instagram. Took that flipper off. If you guys uh, have, haven't heard the news, Hinder is not making the non-flipper XMs anymore. So if you want it, you're gonna have to send it out to somebody to get it done or do it yourself. I'm more than happy to do them. And then just for comparison, I have another one here. I haven't done anything to this one yet. 
but we'll be getting to it. But I'm bringing this one out because this is an older generation factory non-flipper. So this is done by Hinder himself. Well, the shop. So you see, got the shape exactly how he does it. So, anyways. There you go. This is just for fun here. These are not all my knives. This is the only one I own here. Another flipper delete. And also ordered another filler tab. So this is from a good friend. Flipper delete. He didn't want the pocket clip. Being that these are smalls, you really can almost put them in your watch pocket. Uh, but you can definitely put them at the bottom of your pocket. So there's four and there's one more that you guys have already seen a bunch of times this uh, still has a lot of work to go to gonna be a flipper delete I thought that was cool though to see five of them together just cool love it and her makes a great knife I really dig these smalls All right I'm gonna have to hustle up my hands are freezing Alright, let's show off a few ZT-801s. Yes. These are awesome knives to customize. They really are. Um, you guys have seen one like this, I believe about a month or two ago. This is a blue double nuke with the clean bead blast on it just want to show the owner here uh, it's a two-part process to get those logos off that well you can almost see it ghosted in there under the right lighting conditions maybe these are all the serial number and all the ZT uh, markings and birth dates and <laughs> all the stuff that they love to put on there also the clip has logos and stuff all over it but anyways nice clean look also blasted all the hardware to match <laughs> awesome you see that edge and this is the same thing but with an acid wash and also this knife is a little bit unique because he added the aftermarket 3D clip. I believe these can be found on eBay and there's probably a website that I am unaware of that is selling these. Uh, but anyways, they're very straight and it looked out of place on here. So I contoured it around. Of course, I had to work with what was here. So it's not too much of a contour, but you can definitely see there's no straight lines on that clip. You see how it kind of curls around there this kind of comes up to match the lock bar it feels like it fits the knife a little bit better and then uh, when they did this clip uh, this is not my clip here I didn't make this again this is a aftermarket you can see their mill lines here kind of match up with this and give it the same same theme but I do feel like you had to sh reshape that clip so if you buy these off of eBay uh, this is gonna be straight not look quite that good so anyways you see how they mounted it see how it mounts up to that screw on the standoff versus this so there's that acid wash the edge ZT801. Gotta love it. Here is one for my buddy Razor Sharp. Check out his YouTube channel. He also has an Instagram. He's sharpening knives with his Wicked Edge. He's making scales. Uh, he only has like 28 subscribers, so I think you guys should check him out. Uh, from what I can see, he's really doing clean work. So that's his YouTube channel. 
I'm going to put the link below and here's his Instagram. It is sharpening service. Really reasonably priced scales too. So he's working with all different kinds of carbon fibers, uh, doing like bolster, dominoes. I don't know. His, his uh, scale works reminds me a lot of uh, my personal scale works. So anyways, check him out. Uh, this is his knife. He won it in a YouTube giveaway. I believe, is it Ben Loop or Ben Lupe? Uh, anyways, uh, he is a knife maker, part-time maker. Uh, he has a YouTube channel as well. Maybe I'll put that in the link below too. Uh, doing a lot of great things for his subscribers. Did a great giveaway. Um, this is one of the knives he gave away, but he reworked it a little bit. So he uh, contoured it, did some orange peel on the outside, and then, of course, I got it from uh, Razor Sharp here and did some anna work to it and also something I've never done before on the 801 added a finger choil so obviously you can see that's that bronze green fade and then a finger choil and he did not lose that much cutting edge. Because when you look at these, uh, how ZT grinds them, you can see how these kind of come together here, the plunge. And I do a pretty good job, and not patting myself on the back, but of rolling that edge back so it all blends. But really it's not sharp until you get about right here where my fingernail is. So when you bring that choil up, you really didn't lose much cutting edge at all. Hard to get a good size comparison here, but you can see not much edge was lost. What do you think? I uh, also wanted to show off under this lighting how I really fade out these corners. So like if this was uh, made a piece of brass or copper, that would be a high wear area. It would be faded like that. I love it. Of course, acid stone washed, all the hardware and all that. Have one more knife to show you. Actually two. My hands are absolutely numb at this point. That is crazy. All right. Here is another Boker Quaken carved up in a wood grain. This one come out a little bit darker than mine. Also added jimping to the flipper. You can see it nice and carved. More of a purple bronze. Here. Mine is more of a bronze. I really dig that purple bronze. It's a little darker. You can see I did my flipper was that scallop there, which works great as well. This is a little bit more aggressive. I think it works just a little bit better. That jumping on there. Great, Boker quaking. So blade centers up nice. These are great knives. So that's it guys, I am freezing. 